Hey guys, Dabu7. Want to bring your attention to some military operations in the Pacific Northwest. Now, we've talked about this in the past, this region, specifically the Olympic National Park and Forest, that whole peninsula. Last year, they conducted electromagnetic warfare in this region. Here recently, past five months or so, when the Chinese president came to the United States, he specifically went to Seattle first, and Chinese troops made a first as well. When they came to this joint base, Lewis McCord, last year, the end of last year, training with American troops for a natural disaster. This was the first time ever the Chinese soldiers were conducting drills with our troops here in the continental United States. And it was taking place in Washington State. So what we have here now is the announcement of a new set of war games. Now this, in essence, is kind of similar to what Jade Helm was set up like when they talked about real-time or realistic military training. The realistic military training aspect means they're doing this training outside of a traditional military installation. When they're going through someone's private property or if they're in a national forest, things of that nature are on the beaches. This is an example of that. So what we have here is the Navy planning to use all these different operations all over the place, to be honest with you. They're spread all over the board. I talked to Spiro about this, and he is up there in this neck of the woods. And I'll leave links so you guys can check out all the information on this. But you can see the proposed area that they're targeting for training comes all the way down the Straits of the Juan de Fuca and all the way down the West Coast here. All the coastline, so to speak, they're looking to use in this massive drill. Now, they're not being specific as to the day, place, and time, like to a T. But what they've done is they've stated there's 68 different areas in which they want to conduct this in. And you can see that this NSW Group 3 ranks in the top tier when it comes to this whole Naval Special Warfare Command. Now, this Group 3 has proposed to do this training in the Pacific Northwest in the Puget Sound. Well, here, you can see the regions right here. This is what they're requesting. Now, over here on this other one, this shows how back in 2014, they did the same thing in these same areas, and they mentioned the Straits of the Juan de Fuca, the Puget Sound, these same areas where they were doing these operations, but this time, it's going to be at a bigger scale. And this PDF outlines that it will have two training cycles. The first from mid-January through mid-February 2016. The second from mid-February through mid-April of 2016. Now, there's a lot more information here in regards to all the training. They break down all the maps, individual areas, all the parks, the North Puget Sound, uh, Fort Flagler State Park, Mystery Bay, Port Townsend Marina. And what is very interesting about this is they also state that they can, they're going to roll through public lands, private lands. They will be swimming through waters, even marinas that may have people living on the boats in the broad daylight or at nighttime. So, you know, last time that this happened, 
and they tried to conduct this electromagnetic warfare in this area, the people lashed out big time. And Spiro lives up there, so he knows personally. And he was telling me how people were reacting to this, and I was making him aware of this whole situation. He's like, well, you know, this is something he may have a chance to to catch some of the action on camera. You know, roll up on one of these beaches, one of these marinas, or catch a local news clip or something saying that something's going down in Indian Island or something and try to get out there and get some footage. They have outlined all the areas they want to use in these places. See this? Coon Bay. Matt's Matt's Bay. I mean, it goes on and on. Manchester State Park. Blake Island State Park. So, with over 68 new sites to add to this, I just wanted to make people aware of what they have on tap here. This is set to kick off January 14th. So, we have just a few days here before this begins. And with two training sessions, this is going to go all the way into April. So, if you guys see anything out there, any activity, military movement, uh, let me know. I'll continue to keep you guys posted with more information in regards to all this. And make sure to tune in to Real Talk Live this Friday, 8 p.m. EST on Dabu 777. Peace, y'all.